Good morning, friends. Wait. Wait a minute. Where are all the other kids today? Oh, you're here. That's good. Today's just us, I guess. <laughs> I hope you're there with your grown up. So it's all of us. This is kind of a bit strange, isn't it? It's so strange to be here and to know that you're there, but I can't see you and I can't touch you, but I do know that you're there. You know what? I think I'm just gonna take one minute here. I'm just gonna feel you with my heart so that I don't feel alone today for our class. Oh, that feels much better. I'm remembering all of my friends in spirit play today. And I'm imagining that they're all here with me, just like you're here with me. So with that, let's start our class. Are you ready? Welcome, 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 welcome. It's time to say hello now, hello now, hello now. It's time to say hello now to all of our friends. To you and your grown up and me, Sarah. It's time to say hello now to all of our friends. Good morning, friends. Good morning. I'm so happy to be with you this morning. Shall we light our chalice? We light this chalice as a symbol of our faith, the warmth of love, the light of truth. I know I just said that wrong. Can you tell your grown up how it's supposed to be? Should we try it one more time? We light this chalice as a symbol of our faith, the light of truth and the warmth of love. There. That's better. And let's do our Gandhi peace greeting. Today you really do have to say it after me because there's nobody here with me in my office. So let's do this together. I offer you peace. I offer you friendship. I offer you love. I see your beauty. I hear your needs. I honor the wisdom in you. Come, let us wonder together. Oh, thank you, friends. And now it's time for joys and sorrows. And I have one of each today. I have a joy because today the sun is out and it's beautiful weather and that's so different than the snow we had last week. And I'm just so, so happy about the warmer weather and the flowers that are outside coming up on the ground right now. And I have a sorrow today too, but it's kind of a deep sorrow and today I'm just gonna keep it in my heart. So at home, please take some time for your grown up and you to share if you have any joys or sorrows today. It's okay if you want to pass and you can keep your joy or your sorrow in your heart if you want, or you can share it with your grown up and your grown up can share one with you. All right, friends, let's get our story out for today. Hmm. Hmm. Today's story starts with this. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. Hey, 
think it's a sky? Maybe water? Hmm, I guess we're gonna have to find out. Today's story is the story of the life of a butterfly. Or maybe the life of a caterpillar. A butterfly's life has so many changes. And a caterpillar's life has so many changes too. That is what we're going to learn about today. An adult butterfly looks and looks and looks around for a leaf to lay an egg. This is the first stage of the cycle called the egg stage. The egg is very, very small, small as the head of a pin, and it sticks to the leaf and it waits. Next is the larva stage. The egg hatches and a tiny larva comes out, which we sometimes call a caterpillar. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, I thought a butterfly laid that egg. How did a caterpillar come out? That's, that's very curious. Hmm. Um, well, caterpillars, they can have stripes or dots and sometimes they're furry and they walk around on lots and lots of little legs. They have big munchy mouth parts and they want to use them because when they come out of that egg, they're very, very hungry. So they crawl around and they start munching. They munch and munch and munch and munch and munch on leaves and stems and they grow and they grow and they grow. Caterpillars grow so much in this stage that they can shed their skin up to four times. They munch and grow and shed their skin and munch and grow some more. This caterpillar is so hungry. But I still don't see a butterfly. Do you see a butterfly? Maybe it's under all those skins. Hmm. Well, when the caterpillar has had all it wants to eat, the next stage is the pupa stage. The caterpillar crawls to a leaf or a branch and makes a chrysalis all around itself. The chrysalis can be brown or green. They're very, very hard to see because they blend in with the leaves. This is called the pupa stage. This stage may look very restful, but there's a lot going on inside that chrysalis. The caterpillar dissolves and new butterfly parts are formed. Inside, Changes are happening all the time. Finally, when all the changes are done, out comes a beautiful butterfly. What? Wait a minute. I thought a caterpillar went in that chrysalis. How did a butterfly come out? Hmm. So, that's very strange. That's very curious. It's kind of wonderful. When the butterfly comes out of the chrysalis, its wings are weak and wet, and it hangs upside down and lets its wings dry until they're strong enough for it to fly. The wings can have colorful scales all over them that help the butterfly get from place to place. Butterflies like to go from flower to flower because they don't have any munching mouth parts anymore. They have sipping straw mouth parts instead. Sometimes butterflies fly around to meet other butterflies. And some butterflies, like monarch butterflies, fly hundreds and hundreds of miles to find a warm place for the winter. When this butterfly is ready, she looks around for the perfect leaf on which to lay an egg. And the cycle starts again. The life 
of a butterfly or or a caterpillar or both. I wonder, friends, what was the best part of this story for you today? Can you and your grown-up share about what was the best part today? For me, the best part was the caterpillar and the butterfly were in the whole story somehow. That was the best part. For me. I wonder, friends, for you, what was the most important part of this story today? Can you share with your grown up what the most important part of the story was? me the most important part of the story was the change that happened all the time in the whole cycle. I wonder friends if you were someone or something in this story this morning who or what would you be? Can you share with your grown-up who or what you would be in this story? story today, I might be the leaf that provides a place for the egg to go and food for the caterpillar and a place for the chrysalis to hang out and be safe. So friends, I wonder for this story today, is there any part of this story that we could leave out and still have all the story we need? the butterfly out? Could we have a caterpillar? If we left the caterpillar out, could we have a butterfly? Hmm. Something to wonder about. Well, friends, it's work time now. And so, parents, it is the child's choice on how they want to work on their story today of the butterfly. You can feel free to do art projects, play games, talk, and do whatever feels creative and wonderful to process and play this story today. When that time feels complete for you, you can bring your class at home to an end. But for today, we'll bring our class to a close now, and you can bring your class to a close when it feels good for you. We'll tuck our story away. And we can extinguish the light of the chalice. Though we extinguish the light of this chalice, we know that the light of truth and the warmth of love go with us in our hearts. And then we can sing. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the spirit of love surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go now in peace. Go My spirit play friends, I send you all my love. 
Thank you for being with me in my heart today as we do this funny kind of way of class until we can be together at church again. I love you. Have a beautiful day. Bye.